Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. A happy Monday, happy first Monday of 2023. Um, hopefully you guys had a really nice Christmas break and an awesome New Year's. We kept New Year's really casual, stayed home with the kids. Um, and for Christmas we had Adam's parents in town and that was really nice hosting them and getting to spend time with them. Um, I'm taking today to just kind of like get our life in order. I feel very just like out of place, just being off of our routine for so long um, just makes me feel kind of like all over the place. So um, the kids don't go back to school for another couple days, but I'm taking today just to kind of like run a couple errands. I'm gonna head to Home Goods right now to see if I can find some bins for the playroom to organize the new toys that they got and then I'm gonna do lots of organization videos coming up soon. I really wanna organize every area of our house over the next couple weeks. So I think I'm gonna start in the kitchen. Um, I know there's a few things that, or a few different organization systems that I need for the kitchen, but I don't know 100% what I'm gonna need. So um, that video probably won't be up for another like week or so, just because it's gonna take a long time. Ever since we moved into our house, um, we never really put things away how I wanted them to be put away. We just kind of put them places and then I never went back in and organized the kitchen since we moved in and it's been over a year, um, a little bit over a year since we've moved in. So this will be the first time that I'm actually taking time and organizing the kitchen how I want it to be organized. So it's just gonna be a really big project, but I'm excited to do it because I know it's gonna make me feel so much better. And then once I tackle that project, then it'll give me inspiration to tackle the other spaces in our home so if you are in the same boat that I am and you just feel like you're mentally overwhelmed with clutter um, hopefully these videos that are coming up next on my channel will help motivate you and inspire you to do the same so I'm gonna head over to home goods I was gonna go get a car wash too but it looks like it's about to start raining and I always end up wanting to get a car wash whenever a storm rolls in it's like clockwork every time so might hold off even though I really only care about the inside being cleaned like the outside is like I, I don't really care as much um, but I think I'm just gonna hold off because the rest of the week looks like it's gonna be sunny so we're gonna head to home goods and see what we can find I am going through Starbucks right now to get a coffee because it's right across from home goods and I need to pick me up right now to hopefully get me through this day just no motivation right now you guys but um, I haven't been here in a while like a couple weeks I've been really into Dutch bros so um, I don't even know what I'm gonna get good morning how are you doing today good morning good how are you very good what are we getting can I get a grande ice toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso you said a grande ice toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso got it what else can I get the salted cold foam on top of that what else? And then um, one order of the red pepper egg bites. Roasted red pepper egg white bites. And this is, whoop. <laughs> this is the drink that I get. It's a grande ice toasted vanilla oat milk latte. And then I get the salted caramel cold foam on top. It's so good. I just posted an Instagram story and I got a few DMs back to back asking how my recovery has been. And I realized I haven't really talked about my surgery at all. I think there was one other time um, when I was getting ready for um, that snow day where I updated you guys about my sleep. But anyways, recovery has been honestly a breeze. The first couple days you're in bed, uh, mostly sleeping. And then after that, I was up moving around, felt great, totally fine. Um, the only things that are difficult still to this day are um, like vacuuming, that motion of using your arm to vacuum, and wiping counters. I mean, I can still do it, it just kind of hurts a little bit, it's still sore, um, this muscle right here. But um, I have an appointment this week for um to go look at like my stitches and stuff and my scarring and then we start scar care um so i got a lift on my left side only on my left side i didn't need it on my right and they lipoed the left breast as well not the right <clears throat> because it was like a whole cup and a half size bigger so the recovery on this side has been a little bit 
different. Um, they did the lift through, I think it's called a donut lift. So they did the lift through the nipple. Um, so I have a scar around the nipple and not like the anchor scar. Um, so I have, I still have tape around that scar. And then obviously on the bottoms where they put the implants in. So that scar is definitely gonna take some time to heal and look normal. Um, but I'm excited for them to take the tape off this week and start on scar care for um, that scar around the nipple. But I'm so happy with the size and everything. I was so worried that they were gonna look too big and look um, like fake and unnatural. I just wanted them to complement my body really well and I think the size is very proportionate to my frame. And I'm so glad that I listened to the doctor with going a little bit bigger than I wanted to. But aside from those two motions that I find myself doing constantly, obviously, vacuuming and cleaning, um, I still do them. I just like have to like hold my armpit like this and make sure I don't like reach out too far. And it's hard to like ask for help and be like, hey Adam, can you wipe the counters for me? Cause I'm just so used to like doing things like second nature. Um, but he's been a huge help obviously too when I need him. But I think over the night, it's been, I think it's been two and a half weeks since my surgery. So I'm able to lift the kids now. I don't, I try not to, um, but Tatum, I have lift a couple of times. She's honestly pretty small. Um, so if she does need me to like hold her, I, tr I try to get on her level and then she like cuddles with me in my arm while I'm like down on the floor. But obviously that was difficult during the first couple of weeks where I couldn't lift her. But I feel like now I am, I'm pretty much fully recovered. I can't, I don't think I can work out yet. Um, and I really, really want to get back into Orange Theory so badly. I was just talking about that with Adam that I wanted to go get back into orange theory this week and then i was like shoot i don't think i can actually i have to wait until my doctor um can approve it i don't think working out right now is honestly a good idea because like lifting my arms and like putting shirts on and stuff in the morning like is still a little bit sore and obviously i don't want to screw up my recovery um but like walking on treadmills and stuff or running on treadmills is probably fine but the rowing machine which is what you do in orange theory is now that i'm thinking about it it's probably a horrible idea so it's probably going to be another couple weeks until i can get back into orange theory which is kind of a bummer because i'm like really itching to get back into the gym anyways there's a little update <laughs> they have a ton of acrylic organization bins at home goods right now These are normally like double the cost at the container store. They're only $7.99 here. I just got out of Home Goods. I'll show you guys everything I got. I'll do a haul once I get home. I was gonna go and get a car wash, but it was raining while I was in Home Goods, so definitely not the day to get a car wash. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, but while I was I planned on doing our Walmart grocery delivery while I was waiting to get our car wash. So I'm just gonna do that right now. I just started adding some things to my cart. Here are some of the staples that we've since run out of. So I'm just placing this order really quick. Um, I'm gonna try and do like light workouts at home and I'm really bad with breakfast. So I think doing like a simple yogurt with granola and maybe like scrambled eggs and spinach or something um, will help get something in my system in the morning because I'm so bad with that but um just needed like some fruit bread um just some of the staples so I'm gonna place this order right now okay here's everything I got from home goods I saw this on my way out and I thought this would be really cute in Tatum's room it's like a wicker flower so I'm gonna hang that up in her room and then we needed some more oven mitts and I thought these ones were really pretty the gingham and then we needed some more microfiber towels, so I got two packs of those. We needed some more bath towels for our bathroom. Um, and then I got just a couple organizers for things that I know we needed organizer bins for. Um, and then I'm gonna go through our kitchen and just kind of figure out exactly what we're gonna need. But I know exactly where I'm gonna put these right now and then some sponges. So didn't find a whole lot um, at home goods today, but this is definitely some of the stuff that we needed and I thought this was really cute and it was only 
40 bucks. Okay, I'm in the gym now because I'm going to clean up in here and organize. I got some organization systems from Amazon a couple weeks ago and Adam just put them together for me. I can take this anymore. You say we're done, but you still want more. Baby, what I need is you out the door. This time I'm sure. Yeah. That you're a bad boy, up to no good. Trying to be a man, but you're stuck in boyhood. Baby, you won't ever treat me the way you should. So it's over for good. So I'm gonna show you guys the before. Um he had a big um, gym bag just like stuffed in the corner there with all of his things that he uses and it was driving me crazy because every time he needed something he would pull everything out and it would just be a disaster so I got this workout equipment organizer from Amazon to hopefully help with some organization in here and then we also got this that he just mounted to the wall to hang up some of the bands um, so we have this built over here. I'm going to take those weights and put them on here and push this back against the wall right here below the TV. And hopefully we can get all this stuff up off the floor and then I can clean up in here and it'll just be refreshing to come in here and work out now that it's the new year. So. Okay, here is how everything turned out. I still need to clean in here and vacuum the floors and stuff and dust, but this helped so much with organizing all of our resistance bands and stuff. Um, so all those are off the floor. And then Adam helped me re-rack all of his weights because I can't lift those yet. Um, we have our tonal over here, the bike, and then the TV. And then below that is where I organized the weights and our mats and stuff, Adam's lifting shoes and all of his accessories over here. Everything fit perfectly. We have some of our tonal accessories in here and then some baby powder um, uh, measuring tape and then our TV remote. Um, so everything fit on there perfectly. So, so happy with how this turned out. Everything is off the floor and there's just like so much more space.
You guys sharing chips? Is that what you're having for dinner? No. Chips and grapes? No. No? I want chips and grapes. <laughs> Tatum. Breaking into all the snacks. Do the flash, Tatum. <laughs> Bailey and Shay taught Tatum how to do the floss. Okay, I'm gonna close out this vlog with a Costco haul. Um, these are a staple, they're so good. If you haven't tried them, they're way better than normal Cheez-Its. Um, I got some more sauce for spaghetti. Bailey and Shay love spaghetti, so we got some more sauce for that and some more um, spaghetti noodles. Everyone told us to try these and Adam said we've tried them before but I can't remember so we're gonna try them again but lots of you guys recommended them some ground beef for some meals Adam got some steak um, seedless grapes I got some flowers for the new year to put in the kitchen um, some bagels cinnamon raisin beef jerky these are Grayson's favorite we keep them in the fridge once we open them they're really good they kind of taste like chocolate chip cookie dough, but with oats in them. What, Chloe, do you have to go out? Um, I was trying to find sheet pan veggies. I know I've seen them in Costco before, but I could not find the exact ones. So we decided to go with the fire roasted ones to go with the chicken sausage. We're gonna do like a sheet pan meal. Um, I wanted to try this. I thought it was gonna take forever to cook, but what sold me on it is that it only takes like 15 minutes to heat up, so. I'll let you guys know how that is. I got the artichoke and jalapeno dip to go with these. These are really good. Um, some carb balanced tortillas for um, chicken Caesar wraps for lunch or dinner this week. These are really good. We've had these before. Um, we got some pizzas for the kids. This for um, chicken pesto sandwiches to go on the spread. So good. Um, what else? We got some chicken breasts, some mangoes. These are Bailey's favorite. Avocados, Red Bull, and some shelf liner because I'm gonna organize, reorganize the kitchen this week. And I saw these in Costco and I need them. So glad I picked those up, but that's everything we got. Oh, and a Caesar salad kit mix for our wraps. But I think that's it. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. We are cleaning up from dinner, Chloe included. <laughs> um, she's cleaning the high chairs for me. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen, get the kids in bed, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try and film a Q&A that will go up this week as well. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask questions, but if you have other questions um, and you wanna leave them in the comments of this video, I'll go through the comments as well. And if there's a question that I have not written down yet that I plan to answer, I will add it to the list. Um, and then next week I'll have my kitchen organization video up for you guys, hopefully. I'm gonna try and tackle that later on this week and into the weekend. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.